Fetcher, yeah, mother of uh, Brad Fetcher, who lost his life on the w in the World Trade Center on September 11. Mary, uh, what did you have to overcome? What were some of the hurdles in the beginning when you all got together as a group, all the relatives, and said, look, you know, as a group, we have to do something? What were some of the hurdles that you had to overcome? Well, I think one of the hurdles was uh, crea the creation of the commission. And you had a clip on the, uh, um, on the f of the film mm -hmm. and that you showed, um, and it referred to the meeting that we had in Senator Lieberman's office. Um, we had had a rally in front of the White House, and I called Senator Lieberman's office and said, the group of us are here. And what I was seeing was that the White House ne was negotiating with the families, and then they were negotiating with all of the other congressional leaders involved in trying to create the commission. Um, and so I said, I think we need to have a meeting, and we should have everyone around the table that's involved in uh, creating this legislation. And so uh, just what I said happened, you know, as we were talking, you know, each elected official told their story about uh, what they were negotiating. And we literally had five different bills at that point. So that was a real turning point, I think, that conversation that uh, you, you showed about the family standing up and asking for the commission. Obviously, you knew that once the hearings were held, all of this, a lot of information, important information, was going to come out. But once they started the hearings, and we started finding out in detail how our government was unprepared, how many people had failed us, were you surprised by what you were discovering in these hearings? Well, I think we actually probably That's went fine. further than the hearings in the sense that um, yeah, at that point, we had had quite some time to uh, really uh, and do our own investigations. We were pulling together information uh, that we had researched on the web, uh, reading uh, what some of the writers were actually reporting in the news. Mm -hmm. And so we saw the systemic failures. Um, so I think that, that uh, the commission uh, did an excellent job. I mean, did they answer all of our questions? Uh, the answer is no. Um, did they point all, out all the failures that occurred? The answer is no. But I think they did set a, a really um, important framework and blueprint for making the country safer. And some of the testimony that came out there was also very important. I mean, some government officials in the end did come out and apologize. Uh, there was one. Okay. Yes. Um, it's in the documentary. It is in the documentary. And he was really the only person that has ever said to me uh, that he apologized for the failures on 9-11. Okay, but we have another clip. That's why I brought that up, because we have a clip where we see that happening. So we want to make sure that we see this part, because this is once the commission uh, had basically come up with all its findings, that had not divulged yet its final report. But in the process of the testimony, uh, a lot of people basically came in and did not want to uh, absorb the guilt, including uh, former Mayor Giuliani. Uh, he's also in this clip that we're going to watch. Mm -hmm. uh, but there was one government official who did take the blame, and we want to see this. I am now convinced that this tragedy did not have to happen. 9-11 was foreseeable, and it could have been prevented. But even if you don't accept my word on that, I think everyone must admit that at the very least, 9-11 exposed serious problems with our counterterrorism and national security procedures. I wanted the answers, but we wanted some accountability too. You just cannot have uh, a mass murder like this that the government wasn't able to stop without having someone held accountable. But instead, we got speeches about how we're perfect, we did everything right, you know, nothing could have been done better. Our anger should clearly be directed and the blame should clearly be directed at one source and one source alone. The terrorists who killed our loved ones. And that just intensified our anger and drove us on to, you know, to try harder to, to get answers. <laughs> More than anything else, the families wanted accountability from their government. I'd like to call the hearing back to order. Then, as the hearings neared their conclusion, they got it. Sadly, from only one man the man who'd been in charge of counterterrorism in both the Clinton and Bush administrations. I welcome these hearings because it is finally a forum 
where I can apologize to the loved ones of the victims of 9-11, to them who are here in the room, to those who are watching on television, your government failed you. Those entrusted with protecting you failed you. And I failed you. We tried hard, but that doesn't matter because we failed. And for that failure, I would ask, once all the facts are out, for your understanding and for your forgiveness. It was the first acknowledgement that our government had failed. That was what made the apology important to me. I was struck by his apology, not because he was apologizing, uh, but because that was the first time I'd ever heard anyone apologize or take responsibility for what happened. Someone had finally just admitted that they made a mistake and said they were sorry. Um, you know, we hadn't heard that before.